Would you ask me what dishes I like to make after a busy day work? My answer is always going to be something stir fry. In this video, we are going to put this made in work to test. I'm going to unbox it pre season and test it so you can decide if this is a work for you. My name is Chiyu Smith from iHeart Umami. Let's get started. It came with a big box with a wok inside. There is an instruction on how to pre-season the wok. I'm going to follow this instruction from the manufacturer in this video. Overall, the packaging is really neat and clean. It shows that they took great care of the product. The wok is 12 and a half inch in diameter at the widest part. It also came with a seasoning oil that's made with beeswax, canola oil, and grapeseed oil. Now we need to thoroughly wash the wok to remove the protective layer of oil that came with the manufacturing. Wash the wok with warm and soapy water really well. I recommend that you wear darker color clothing because the black smudge might transfer to your hands. Wash the wok inside and outside with a scrubby sponge in warm water and dish soap. It took me about five to six times very thorough cleaning to wash the black smudge off. Rinse the wok and wipe it dry with a clean paper towel. There should be very minimal amount of smudge. If not, go back to the previous step to wash your wok again. Now dry it over high heat for about 10 minutes. Also tilt the wok all around to dry the sides too. In my case, after drying the wok, the color changed from black to silver. Dab a small amount of oil that came with the package and wipe it all over the wok with a paper towel. Keep the oil in thin layer. Make sure you condition the entire inside of the wok. You can also use a high smoke point oil like avocado oil. Then use a clean paper towel to wipe away any extra oil, leaving only a small trace on the surface. Send the wok back to the stove again to heat it up over high heat for about 10 minutes. This will open up the pores and help the wok absorb the oil. Tilt the wok around so that the sides get heated as well. The color might continue to change from silver to blue to black or brown. You can repeat the process from the previous step, conditioning it with oil and heat it up again to continue building the seasoning. Now, I've been using this wok for about a week. Let's fry an egg. I preheated the wok over medium to medium high heat until it smoked slightly. Use a high smoke point oil like avocado. A little goes a long way because the wok is well seasoned. Try not to touch the food until the bottom side is crisp brown before you flip. In this case, I want to make a sunny side up egg. See, nothing sticks and the egg white is crisp and the yolk is still soft and runny. I totally love it. Simply put, be gentle and do not soak the wok and do not use dish soap. For a simple cleaning like after you're frying an egg or a simple vegetable satay without tons of sauce, wipe it with a clean paper towel. If there are some sticky residues, dip the paper towel with a small amount of water and do spot treatments. Wipe it in circular motion to remove the residues. If there are thick and sticky gunk that's hard to remove, Gently wipe the wok with some salt and oil in small circular motion. After that, condition the wok again, wipe off the excess oil, and dry it over stove top just like how you first condition it. Your pan should always have a slick and slightly oiled surface. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Learn how to make your favorite Asian food gluten-free, low-carb, and paleo-friendly. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.